Welcome, welcome to another episode of 3D Boxing Podcast. It is good to be back. It is good to be back on 3D Boxing Podcast. Another episode of Quick Hits. It's going to be a fun episode today. We're going to react to why uh, Caleb Plant, to, to the Caleb Plant, why he smacked Charlo according to Plant. Um, but before we do that, please like, share, and subscribe. Follow 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog, and all forms of social media. Uh, quick hits can be actually every day, eight to ten minutes a day, to keep you up to date on the latest, greatest boxing news and rumors. Uh, please also follow our other channel, Texas Boxing Scene, on YouTube. Texas Boxing Scene, all proceeds go to autism research and recovery. All right, let's get into today's show. Um, we're gonna play the video real quick, but obviously, in the lead up um, to Jamal Charlo, uh, to Spence and Crawford, there was a confrontation between. Uh, Benavides, not Benavides, Caleb Plant, I'm sorry, Caleb Plant and Jamel Charlo. Uh, it's interesting because Jamel Charlo fights for all the belts at 168 uh, next month. Plant fights at 168. Could this be a future matchup should uh, Charlo pull the massive upset over Canelo? We'll, we'll get into that. All right, let's get in uh, to the show, though. Um, Caleb Plant gives a brief explanation we're going to uh, play it. I'm going to break it down, tell you what I think, um, and, and see, like, who is right and who is wrong here. Because it comes off looking like Plant um, was way, way, way out of bounds. Let's look. Let, let, let's listen to, to the video and uh, see what they say. Second, let me get this pulled up for y'all. Touch another grown man in his face. I'm gonna start it over. It was just me and me and old buddy. I mean, a man's got a right to, you know, defend himself. Man's got a right to defend himself. That's true. You know, grown man touch another grown man in his face, pulling on his beard real hard, and you know, I got the decency to tell you not to do that again. I don't spaz on you right there. Nothing he's saying is out of bounds right now. So apparently, allegedly, according to Plant, Charlo pulled on his beard. Plant told him to stop, not to do that again, and Charlo continued. Um, you keep touching my face. We're going to have an issue. I got enough decency to tell you not to do that again. And, you know, the only thing you can reply with is how I'm a bitch-ass white boy. And look at him, y'all, getting shook just like a bitch-ass white boy would. And. Look at him, y'all, just like a white boy would, acting like a bitch. And then, you know. Really no reason for that racial stuff. I, I'm not sure what, why, why Charlo went there. It's really not. You're pulling on a man's beard. What would you like him to do? You're going to pull on a beard. You're going to touch my face. I, I'm going to stop you from touching my face. You immediately grab my face again even harder. That's true. Plant. Should have smacked him the first time, honestly. Uh, it was uh, very nice of him to not do that. Um, and, and then if he did it again, he doubled down on it a bit more aggressively. What are you going to do? After I just asked you not to do that no more, I got my wife standing right behind me, and I'm in a room full of my peers. I mean. Because he got his wife there. Obviously, he feels pressure, you know, Um you know, his, his masculinity is being called out there. He's obviously being disrespected. You know, I, I mean, it, it, you guys tell me. If, if this is true, right, if Caleb Plant's – again, there's always, like, three sides to the story. We haven't heard from Charlo, and then we haven't, you know, tried to put together what is 100% true. But if this is true, if this is the case, can anyone even suggest that Caleb Plant was wrong? What do you do? You know, you're making it real hard on him. On a guy, you really put his back on the wall. You start doing all that shit in front of you, you know, in front of my wife and everybody in the room. 
I didn't ask you to quit fucking with me. I love the Southerner in them. I, I love it. <laughs> um, guy grabs your face, touches your face. You tell him to stop. He keeps doing it. I, I'd ask you, what would you do? Just let him keep pulling your face. First of all, that's a little, it's a little iffy, and it's a little, it's a little soft. So keep touching. Why are you touching his face? Like, what led up to that? Can anyone like tell me? Like, did he just go up to you and start pulling on your beard, like, flirty? Like, that, that is such a weird thing to do, Jamal Charlo. And I like Jamal Charlo. He's right over my shoulder on the wall, right? Um, I don't even – I don't even know what to say to that, how to respond to that. It's just weird. Um and then to keep doing it, and then, then you're getting aggressively, like, you, like you're going to back the guy. Like, b- both of y'all are in your 30s. Why, why don't y'all just act like grown-ups and, like, not pull on each other's beards? Like, this is weird. Like, um, no, that's weird, bro. That, that's 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 weird. That That's too weird for me. Um, I, I, let's, uh, let's finish the video. I think that's it, though. Yeah, that's it. It was just me and guys. What do you make of this? Because that is extremely weird. Um, it, it came off, and people were calling the plant a racist, and and they were going that because he's white and and Charlo is black. They, they're like, there's no evidence that this had anything to do with with racism. I mean, it, it's such a, a a lowbrow card to play. The the guy. Allegedly, and again, I want to hear Charles' side of the story. I'm not saying what Caleb, Caleb Plant says is the gospel truth. I'm not, I'm not suggesting that. I'm saying if, if it is true, if this is what happened, if this is what went down, it's reasonable to think perhaps it is, right? Because what would cause you to smack a man like that? Maybe he's pulling on my beard. <laughs> I tell him this. I want to smack him the first time, honestly. You're going to pull on my beard, I'm going to smack you. Right, I I don't think that's out of bounds, and then to keep doing it after I told you to, to don't do that no more, um, that is just weird. And you're gonna get you get what you deserve after that, right? If someone hits you after that, they hit you after that. What are you gonna say? Uh, I I thought he liked it. I, after they told me to stop, it's it, it. Mel. Get some explaining to do, and maybe this is entirely wrong. Maybe Plant made the whole thing up. I don't know. Uh, but Charlo needs to respond. Um, let me know what you guys think of this incident. Do you, do you still think Caleb Plant is way out of bounds? Do you think Caleb Plant did something ridiculous here? Because I, I don't. If he's telling the truth, if this is what happened, it seems completely reasonable to me. Let me know what y'all think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Follow 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog, and all forms of social media. Quick hits come at you every day, 8 to 10 minutes a day, to keep you up to date on the latest, greatest boxing news and rumors. It is August 8th, 2023, from Texas to the world. Thank you. And God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.